Today we're going to talk about street photography with Nikon Z62 on streets of Montreal, Canada. Bonjour. My French is terrible. Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. My name is Vitaly with Touch Life Studio. And you know, on this channel, we talk about so many different things. We talk about camera, we talk about different gear, we talk about portraits, weddings, how to take pictures. But as many of us have a regular lives, we travel from time to time. And this summer, this past summer, our family had a chance to travel to Montreal, Canada. And I decided, you know what? I usually take pictures of all kinds of things, but never try or tinker with street photography. So this is what today's episode is gonna be about. We're talking about how my experience was with Nikon Z62, Z62 on the streets of Montreal. Now, just for starters, as uh, you may or may not know, Nikon Z62 is a 24 megapixel, beautiful sensor camera, mirrorless camera, um, came out about maybe a couple years ago. And I had a, such a good experience with taking portraits, uh, going on the trips with this camera, uh, doing holiday pictures, all kinds of things. Now, this camera has two card slots, which is awesome if you are need redundancy. And specifically, this camera takes two different cards. One of them is the CF Express, okay? And the second one is the regular, regular SD card slot. So whichever one you use uh, is awesome. Uh, actually, these CF Express cards work very, very fast, especially if you're shooting sports and wildlife. Nonetheless, this video is not about that. It's about street photography. Now, there are many definitions on street photography, and I like this one from actually Britannica, and I'm going to read. Street photography is a genre of photography that records everyday life in a public place. The very publicness of this setting enables the photographer to take candid pictures of strangers, often without their knowledge. Street photographers do not necessarily have a social purpose in mind, but they prefer to isolate and capture moments which might otherwise go unnoticed. So this is what my trip to Montreal was all about, taking a lot of candid shots, whether it's strangers, my family, just overall life of Montreal. So um, one of the things that maybe some of you might be wondering Okay, what is it like to carry this camera around? Is it heavy? Is it light? So I use this camera in combination with a 24 to 70 f 2.8 s Z mount lens. Now that lens specifically is a little bit heavier, but I chose to bring that lens because of the wide angle that I can get with it, as well as the close up shots. I could have chosen to bring a 50 millimeter um, S lens as well, uh, f1.8 which would have been great and i know a lot of people use this lens for street photography and actually will be a lighter uh, kind of scene and carrying this around or i could have brought something like 85 millimeter as well f1.8 but that would be too close and i don't think i'll be able to capture sort of the wide angle uh, you know scenes if i really wanted to so that's why my choice my choice was with 24 to 70 f2.8 now, one of the things that I also brought with me was this Peak Design camera strap. Um, I'm really not a big fan of the regular camera straps that comes with the camera itself. And as you know, um, you might have used these Peak Designs. They have this little tiny anchors and they are awesome when it comes to um, putting the camera strap on and off fairly quickly. All you gotta do is just, you have to put in this little, little tiny slot up here. You put this little, call them discs or anchors in and they lock just like that and very easy. Uh, so that made the carrying camera on my shoulder virtually, you know, I couldn't really feel whole lot. All right, so um, let me just talk a little bit about my experience traveling to Canada. As we were driving in, actually it was raining and I was feeling disappointed because I felt, man, all my pictures are gonna be so much rain but then I realized, and after listening to actually other photographers who talk about taking pictures on the rain, 
during the rain time when you have a lot of puddles and that actually gets that you have a different feel more of an urban kind of feel of uh, photography so with this i'm going to talk about some of my pictures and instead of me just kind of describing in my experience uh, overall i am just going to talk only pretty much just going to focus on the pictures itself so starting with the pictures and when we drove in it was raining but these are some of my first pictures but the colors that come out out of the z9 are beautiful I shot in JPEG, I also shot in RAW, and I was able to edit them one by one next to each other, and virtually not much difference, I gotta be honest. And I think big difference because when I was shooting, it was overcast most of the time. The shadows and the highlights are kind of a closely together at that point, and as you can see, uh, the blacks stand out so well. We stayed at this uh, apartment hotel, which actually might have been a, an apartment building at some point, but they turned this into a hotel. And my kids had a great time walking around. The city of Montreal is a very walkable city. And by the way, if you ever want to travel to Europe on budget, Montreal is a great place to visit. If you leave somewhere, if you live somewhere in the northeast. Um, it's probably about five, six hours away when, when it comes to driving. If you live somewhere in the uh, Midwest or maybe in the west side of the United States, you might want to take a flight. But again, it's a beautiful, beautiful city to visit. Uh, the colors that come out of this camera, you know, whether it's uh, green, so blue or red, they're just well balanced. And uh, be able to take care, care of this camera and shoot from kind of like a low angle mid angle sometimes from kind of up high because you have this fully articulated screen not fully uh, take it back a partially articulated screen that allows me to get different kinds of shots the colors again as you can see very slightly edited um, and the sharpness on these flowers and the greens and reds uh, when it comes to you know raining condition i actually really enjoy taking portraits uh, when it was kind of like a sprinkling and a little bit wet. I'm a big fan of um, Omar Gonzalez uh, channel. He actually does a lot of street photography um, uh, tips and tricks and uh, some things that I learned from him and I'm gonna actually link his channel uh, down below. Um, but walking with this camera was very easy. Montreal is it's a very picturistic location because you have a lot of old buildings, you have new buildings, you have, um, you know, kind of uh, street life, you have restaurants, you know, it's really, really full place to go take pictures. One of the places that we actually decided to walk is this Mount Royal, basically. I'm dying, yeah. Why? Because the, the steps are too much for me. How do you like the bag? I think I'm having a heart attack. The bag is too heavy. Is it comfortable? Mm -hmm. It's comfortable, but it's still heavy when you have to like climb up the stairs. So I think I'm gonna give it back to you. Also, I think I need my blood pressure medicine. I think my heart is working too hard. <laughs> is this uh, top of a hill location where when they build the city itself, they actually did not allow to build some of the buildings higher than that top of the mountain because they want to preserve that beautiful feel of the city and so here's a picture of um, from the city basically shooting at 24 uh, millimeter angle and as you can see even though it was a little bit foggy at the top but you can see the panoramic view of the city itself and here's the image of the close-up shots and you can see the cleanliness of these files how sharp these are um, again, the beautiful 24 image, uh, 24 megapixel sensor. Um, I really, really love it. When it comes to carrying it like everyday camera with you, it's a beautiful, beautiful photography camera. Now, one of the things that I also try to implement is um, because I primarily do portraits, is when you do portraits, there's a lot of close up shots. And I wanted to see what it looks like when you do close-up shots on the streets of Montreal. And so here are some images and the colors that come out of this camera. Again, very slightly edited. Some of the pictures were shot in JPEG. Some of the pictures were shot in RAW. And, um, you know, be able to photograph 
your family when they are out there with you to test capabilities of the camera, but as well as make memories. That's what I love about uh, these kind of trips. Um, one of the things that I've learned from other photographers is to actually set your camera into a black and white mode. Because when you're looking through the camera, through the EVF um, electronic viewfinder, you can actually see things in black and white. Because when you see things in black and white, you can balance well the composition, but also the light that's coming in. And then in post-processing, uh, once you import your pictures, let's say to Lightroom, as long as you shoot, in raw once you process the pictures they're actually going to be in color and then you can either keep it in color or turn it in uh, into black and white so in this case this image up here i actually chose to keep it in black and white even though the windows are blown out i was really more focused on the scene that was taking place uh, when we were at this location now, as you know, Canada is very popular for its coffee. Um, there's a lot of coffee, shop, coffee shops that we stopped, uh, some of the more commercial ones, like a Tim Hortons, which actually the first time I had a chance to try Tim Hortons coffee and it wasn't too bad, um, but as well as small mom and pop shops and be able to document uh, and do have more like a candid shots so where people are working. And it's just, you know, when you have street photography with black and white imagery. There's something about it that kind of draws you in and it might you wanna question what was happening in that moment. Uh, here's another image of black and white. Uh, really, uh, when I took this picture it was with a low angle when I had this um, screen basically open up like this and that allowed me to you know, really capture the shot of basically what's happening uh, with a kind of roof top as well as the kind of uh, the, the scene itself and you know nice thing about shoot, shooting in black and white as well you get to have a good have a composition that you may be desiring that maybe draws you in and again you want to find out what was happening you know these people that were sitting at the table having a, having lunch looks like they brought their lunch with them they didn't buy it but you want to kind of find out wow what what is it like life for those people so uh it really i had a, such a wonderful time doing street photography uh, my family walked a lot there was this huge uh a ton of steps going up up and down to the mount royale um, this image was really really cool because uh this is a sort of a rendering a model of the area and it's like either bronze or some kind of a metal and it's again looking at the camera i think i shot it about um f um f4 or maybe f5.6 but you see how sharp this image is i mean i really love this 24 megapixel uh, camera you don't need to have like a z9 45 megapixels to see a level of detail that you might be going for one of the things of street photography is that you get to take a pictures of all kinds of things there are old buildings there are people out there there's old architecture and to be able to experience especially in places like montreal new york boston uh, there's just a variety of different scenes that you get to take pictures of this was an awesome image i got to capture is where some vines uh, basically uh, leaves are growing through the building it kind of reminds me of this sort of like a, a scary movie halloween type situation but again you can turn it into black and white you can keep it in color but it is just beautiful there's something about seeing images through the view uh, through the evf or ovf if you have a dslr uh, there's a lot of brownstone brownstone stone buildings in new york city as well and um, it was great to be able to capture my family walking around. As you can see, this is an image of my wife and my son uh, walking next to each other. My son was really tired at that point. He was hanging on my wife. One of the things that you'll find commonly in Montreal is there's a lot of bicyclists. Bicycles are everywhere. It is just a normal mode of transportation. I won't be surprised that there are more bicycles, bicyclists and bicycles in the city itself than actually vehicles. And I got a chance to test out sort of a, uh, a slow photography or whatever you want to call it, maybe a slow shutter speed where you can see the motion blur in the back. And uh, 
you know, that's one of the things I got really obsessed. You know, there's a bicycles on every corner and I was taking pictures of all those bicycles as much as I could. And as you will see in my images, I go through a ton of bicycles. Now, this is a, was a cool shop because where I live right now, we don't have too many pay phones. I don't think we have any pay phones in the area, but be able to see a pay phone um, in, the, in the streets of Montreal, was, which was awesome. Again, you can see this you know, urban feel and look and uh, kind of it brings you back, gives you those memories while, while you were there. Uh, again, more pictures of bicycles. You can rent bicycles just like in New York or Boston or many other uh, big cities and uh, colors out there. Colors coming from this camera, you know, many of them that you see up here are not even edited in any way. It, this is basically what I got uh, directly as a JPEG from the Z6 II. A beautiful building, some very interesting buildings uh, that you get to see. Uh, you you could see uh, an old architecture and this uh, brand new, unique, uh, modern looking type of field building, which was awesome. One of the things that you also get to see in the streets of Montreal is there are a lot of students, there are a lot of visitors, but also a lot of people who live there. And um, I, I was able to capture this uh, couple that was sitting there, uh, there might be students. Uh, but one of the things of that portrait photography is street photography is that you get to take a pictures of a lot of strangers and you're wondering what is their life is like living in that city what is their day-to-day -day activity looks like and be able to to capture that um, I really loved it the colors of this camera again I'm mentioning you know look at the yellows of, the, of this vehicle and look how sharp uh, again I'm just zooming in uh, as you can see, this, this is more of a, a digital zoom uh, or cropping on the, on, the, on the picture, but look how sharp it is. If you guys are ever wondering whether Z6 II is a good street photography camera, it is a beautiful street photography camera. Uh, yes, it's not a, a Fuji film, uh, it's not as small and tiny as those cameras are, but if you are considering whether you should be using Z6 II for street photography, absolutely no question about it now the cool thing about being there is that you never know what you're gonna see while you are in Montreal and me being a wedding photographer and portrait photographer I was able to uh, notice this couple uh, who was getting married and they had a wedding photographer taking pictures and sure enough I feel like I had to jump in and take some pictures of them as well so these are my images, literally just being out there with my 24 to 70 uh, lens, and I was able to capture some pretty cool images while the, while they were there. Now let's talk a little bit about the old buildings uh, out there. So um, a lot of tall buildings, a lot of short buildings. One of the things that I learned about street photography, it's all about the angle. Uh, not all of it, but maybe much has to do with the angle that you take. Uh, sometimes we tend to take pictures basically either kind of from our uh, viewpoint but it's good to be able to sit down and really go down low if you have a camera like this that you can uh, um, open your screen and take a low shot kind of going to the ground try to do that next time you're taking pictures really really awesome now guys one of the images I feel like that define my trip this past time to Montreal was you never know what to expect and the city is full of rich and poor people and we happened to be in Chinatown at that moment and my son and I were walking around and we saw this older gentleman who was must have been homeless man but he was looking for food for money and my five-year-old and this is where you wonder sometimes maybe you're doing something right in life he asked daddy can we give him some money and <clears throat> That's one of the things that you always want to, as a parent, you want to raise your kids the right way. Um, and as he asked me for a few dollars, I was able to capture my son walking to this gentleman and, you know, uh, passing him a few dollars. But part of the street photography is that be able to capture people's expressions. And you're looking at this image, there's one lady who was just looking off to the side and the other lady was just amazingly surprised to see what the little kid is doing by hanging a few dollars to the gentleman again this image I feel like really defines my trip to Canada this past summer 
Now there's also much to be said about the images taking in the evening or at night. Um, when you have a slow shutter speed on the camera, you get to take a, a pictures of the images and the vehicles that passing and you see this kind of uh, a long uh, streak of lights uh, from vehicles. Uh, that was just an amazing experience as well. The colors that you see in the city and you get to test your camera really to really understand, you know, how true the colors are uh, when it comes to, you know, camera taking pictures and then what you see on the screen. Um, a pretty cool place that we had a chance to visit is an underground city. And that's where we had a chance to uh, test the camera in low light capabilities and we went to basically a bunch of uh, shops, uh, coffee shops, uh, shopping out there and the low light capabilities of this camera is phenomenal. Now this is what it was like to take pictures in Canada, uh, street photography on streets of Montreal with Nikon Z6 II. Guys, I would love to hear your feedback. I am a novice in this. I am not a uh, street photographer by no means, but be able to utilize some of my previous experience with weddings and portraits and studio work. Um, I think there's a, some overlap in there. So I would really appreciate guys if you comment below. So guys, if you are new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button if there's something in this video that you heard or saw that might be beneficial to you uh, and that will tell the mighty algorithm of YouTube that there's a something good about this video. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that I can make more videos like this for viewers like you. Thank you.